हेलो हाय एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू बोर्ड ब्रह्मास्त्रा सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन साइंस दैट इज मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट सो लेट्स बिगिन वेलकम एवरीवन सो इफ एनीवन इज न्यू दिस इज अबाउट मी ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट मैग्नेटिज्म and little bit introduction to magnetism and we are going to learn the experiment which connected magnetism with electricity that we are going to see today and this whole topic is called as electromagnetism correct that is magnetic effects of electric current in the last class we have seen heating effect of electric current so today from next two days we are going to learn about magnetic effects of electric current so what is a magnet you see this one this piece is called as magnet so if you bring any ferromagnetic material close to this magnet they will get attracted so what is a magnet magnet is an object which attracts or repel other magnetic materials with its magnetic field that is called as a magnet and what are the magnetic materials magnetic materials are our favorite that is iron cobalt nickel these are the magnetic materials if you bring a iron piece close to the magnet it will get attracted by the magnet so what is this this is called as compass compass or called as needle so it has north there is a north pole and there is a south pole of the compass needle correct so we can draw something like this there is a north and south so this arrow instead of drawing the whole compass you can just use this arrow which will tell you it is the magnetic needle or compass why the magnet can't have monopoles yeah we'll going to learn that why the magnets do not have monopoles okay sankalp we are going to learn it give let's say 10 minutes jitendra good evening hi time pass okay so now what is a bar magnet so what is bar magnet if you suspend a bar magnet it will always point in the north south direction why because our earth itself is a giant magnet so because of some activities in the core of the earth the earth will act as if it is a large magnet so if you hang a bar magnet this north will point towards the physical north of earth and south will point towards physical south of the earth so people use this magnet or the compass to identify the directions in desert or in sea good evening everyone so it has two poles north and the south pole and we all know that there is no monopole exist we are going to learn that just give me few minutes we are going to learn that so bar magnet it is a permanent magnet so what is the meaning of permanent magnet means the magnetism of the bar magnet is always on we do not turn off the magnetism of the bar magnet it is always on that is why it is called as permanent magnets so compass needle it gets deflected when brought near a bar magnet so if you bring a compass needle near this bar magnet what will happen it will get deflected so either the compass needle will have the north and the south poles correct so this north pole will get repel by the north pole of the bar magnet and the north pole will get attracted by the south pole so there is a repulsion between the two north pole and attraction between north and south pole that is the reason the compass needle gets deflected when brought near the bar magnet okay there is a multiple correct so choose all the correct options you have learned this so answer i want to see who can answer correct there are two options correct so solve this first option like poles they attract each other is it true like poles you see these are the like poles they repel like poles they repel so this one is wrong how about the second one like poles repel that is correct how about the third one unlike poles they attract you see north and south these are unlike poles so they will attract this is correct and fourth one is wrong so correct option is b and c yes uncle correct nice 
Rekha and time pass, correct. Awesome. So now, can you separate the North and South Pole? Some, some of you were asking this question. Sankalp, I guess you. Can you separate the North and the South Pole? For example, in charges, you can separate the electron and proton. So when you separate electron, electron would be negatively charged, proton would be positively charged. But here, the North Pole and the South Pole of a magnet, they always together. So let's do an activity. So for example, they are always together. Magnetic monopoles, they do not exist. They are always together. Okay? So yeah, these monopoles do not exist. You can cut it even here. You can cut it again. Again, you will get two different magnets. Again, there would be north-south, north-south. You can cut it infinite times. Still, these north and south pole will always be together. Okay? So you cannot separate them. So let's do the iron filing experiment. So what is this? Do you know what is iron filings? Iron filings. Filings means powder or dust of the iron. So if you sprinkle the dust of iron particles or small particles of iron, for example, something like this, there is a bar magnet, you sprinkle the iron, then can you see the region? So there is a region where most of the iron filings are attracted towards the magnet. Here, not many are attracted. Not many iron filings are attracted at the center. But at the edge, you see this region? Most of the iron filings, they are attracted. So the region where most of these iron filings are attracted, these are called as poles of a magnet. So how many poles are there? Every time it will have two poles. Okay, these are, that is why it is called as magnetic dipole. Dipole means two poles. So, what is magnetic field lines? Let's understand what is magnetic field lines. So, in this region, can you see some pattern here? You can see some pattern here, something like this. This pattern here, can you see? This pattern along which the iron filings arrange or align themselves, that is called as magnetic field lines. The lines along which iron filings align. It is called as magnetic field lines. So, using the iron filing experiment, you can get the direction or you can get the outline how the magnetic field lines look like. But you don't get the direction. To understand the direction, we need to use magnetic compass. So, there is a compass, you see, the compass needle, it has a north and the south pole. So, the red one for the compass needle, red one is the north and the white one is a south pole. So when the compass needle is brought near the north pole of the bar magnet, the south pole will be attracted. And here the north pole will be attracted as you see in this image. Okay. So now what is the advantage of using compass needle? So to get the direction of the magnetic field. So compass needle can tell you the direction. How? Because the compass needle has north and south. So this is how you get the direction. So, when you bring a compass needle near the bar magnet, you see different at different location, compass needle will point in the different direction. Here it is pointing here in this direction, going out in this direction. Here it is coming in, going inside, going inside again. Can you see the directions? So, what we do is we place the compass needle at different locations around this bar magnet. So, you see here the arrow would be pointing outwards. In this side, arrow would be pointing inwards. Here also, arrow is pointing inwards, something like this. Can you see? The from south to north, this is how the arrows are pointing. And if you join all these arrows, as you see in this figure, join all the arrows, so you will get the magnetic field lines. So these are called as magnetic field lines. Correct? So this is how we can draw or identify the magnetic field lines. So let's now understand some properties of this magnetic field lines. So these field lines, they emerge from North Pole and merge at the South Pole. You see all the field lines, they emerge, emerge that means come out, come out from the North Pole and they go inside, inside the South Pole. They go inside the South Pole, come out from the North Pole. You see again, North Pole, they're coming out, in the South Pole, they are going inside. So these magnetic field lines are closed curves. So what is the meaning of closed curve? That means, let's suppose, 
if you draw the magnetic field lines inside here they are coming out going in but inside it would look something like this so inside it is going from south to north so that is how it makes a complete loop so these are all closed loops okay so now it is a what is a magnetic field so b is a symbol used for magnetic field it is a vector quantity like force or like a displacement magnetic field is a vector so it has both magnitude as well as direction so we need to understand how the magnetic field varies so we can just look at the direction and then look at the magnitude we'll identify how would be the direction of the magnetic field and how would be the magnitude so for the direction the tangent at any point gives direction of b for example these are the magnetic field lines you choose any point here draw tangent so this vector will give you the direction of magnetic field correct let's suppose at this point vector would be something like this here the vector would be something like this at this point vector is something like this at let's say this point it is like this so you draw the tangent tangent will tell you the direction of magnetic field okay so now the strength of the magnetic field lines or strength of the magnetic field depends on density of the field lines for example you look at this region how many field lines are there a lot you can just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 approximately 13 lines are in this circle let's consider a similar circle here so how many field lines maybe three or four correct so at this region the density is lower here the density is larger so larger density of field lines meaning stronger magnetic field so near the poles the magnetic field is stronger away from the poles magnetic field is weaker okay so no two field lines are found to cross each other why well i'll show you how let's suppose there is a bar magnet it has a north and south pole let's suppose these are the magnetic field lines they're coming out from the north pole and going inside the south pole something like this correct for example now you draw another field line something like this it is originating from the north and coming like this so at these regions there are two regions where they are intersecting so the place where they are intersecting you can draw two tangents correct even at this there are two tangents so what is the meaning of two tangents it means the point where the magnetic field lines they intersect you will get the two directions for the magnetic field is it possible it is not possible and that is the reason two no two magnetic field lines they found to cross each other so this is wrong so no two magnetic field lines they can cross each other understood great so now solve this question at which point magnetic field strength is maximum there is a point a there is point b here point c at which point magnetic field strength is maximum options a b c same at all points and none of the above so we know the strength of the magnetic field is directly proportional to the density density of field lines correct so at a the density is maximum at c or at b density is lower than compared to a so maximum density means if you increase the density that means strength will be larger that is the meaning of direct proportionality so option is a nice correct all of you are getting correct answer j engineering killer gang vivek vlogs awesome time pass great please tell in hindi i'll try niyati sharma i'll try to speak little bit in hindi main thoda thoda koshish karunga hindi mein kyunki bahut sare aise bacche hain jo south se hai तो उनके लिए मुझे इंग्लिश यूज करना पड़ता है बट आई ट्राई टू मिक्स एंड मैच हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश है ना तो अभी क्वेश्चन है व्हाट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस इनसाइड द मैग्नेट इट इज इनसाइड द मैग्नेट 
मैग्नेट के अंदर से डायरेक्शन कैसे होगी ये अगर मैग्नेट है देर इज अ नॉर्थ एंड साउथ दीज आर द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन्स सो दिस आउटसाइड करेक्ट बट वी वॉन्ट द डायरेक्शन इन साइड सो इन साइड कैसे दिखेगा इन साइड ये दीज आर क्लोज लूप आपको पता है ना सबको ये सारे क्लोज लूप से तो इसकी वजह से इन साइड द डायरेक्शन इज फ्रॉम साउथ टू नॉर्थ तो इन साइड द मैग्नेट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन इज फ्रॉम साउथ टू नॉर्थ दर इज अ करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर बी ओके Yes, I'll talk in English. Okay. Yeah, there is a diagram. Inside, it is from south to north. So now let's understand this Oersted experiment. This was very pioneering experiment before Oersted experiment. So people thought, "Jo electricity hai, it is completely different, and magnetism hai, it is completely different." So electricity kiske wajah se hoti hai? Jo charges hote hai, electrons, protons, correct? मैग्नेटिज्म किसकी वजह से होता है जो मैग्नेट से जैसे कि फेरोमैग्नेट जैसे कि आयरन कोबाल्ट निकेल तो लोगों को लगता था मैग्नेटिज्म एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दे आर कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट इन दोनों को कुछ रिलेशन नहीं है बट ओस्टेड वॉज अ पर्सन हु डिड द एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड शो दीज आर वेरी सिमिलर यू कैन गेट मैग्नेटिज्म फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिज्म सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट या इन द एंड I'll show you the Telegram link. It is not working. Okay, I'll talk. Niyati, I'll tell you the channel manager to share the correct link. Okay, just wait. In the chat, we'll share the correct link. Okay, after the class. So now, before we go to the OST experiment, let's solve this question. Why does the compass needle deflect when brought near the bar magnet? and multiple correct so choose all the correct option you see here there is a bar magnet and there is a compass needle so compass needle deflect ho rahi hai q deflect ho rahi hai wo batao mujhe opposite magnetic poles attract due to earth's magnetic force like magnetic poles repel none of the above to kya kya ho raha hai yahan pe you see here the bar magnet it has south so this south will get attracted by the north so the opposite magnetic poles they attract this is correct due to earth's magnetic force this is not correct or third kya like magnetic poles they repel even this one is correct so it is because of these two opposite poles of the bar magnet and the compass they attract each other and like magnetic poles of the bar magnet and compass they repel each other so both of these are responsible for the deflection in the magnetic field sare right nahi hai na it is not due to the why does the compass needle deflect when brought near the bar magnet you see when you bring near the bar magnet it has nothing to do with earth's magnetic force and these are multiple correct so you have to choose whenever i say multiple correct so choose all the right options so the option number b is not correct okay so there is a oersted experiment so let's understand ki oersted ne kya bola tha to yahan pe aapko dikh raha hai battery aapne electricity mein padha tha what is the purpose of battery to make sure the current will flow through the circuit to circuit se through yahan pe current flow ho raha hai when you switch it on switches on now okay so when the current is passing through it what oersted observe this magnetic needle it gets deflected so the north pole is brought closer to the wire there is a conducting wire this let's say a to b there is a conducting wire so the north pole is attracted and south pole is repelled south pole is repelled north pole is attracted so kya ho raha hai to this conductor is acting like a magnet and it has it has a polarity such that yahan pe there is a conductor current is passing through it so here if the north pole is getting attracted north pole is getting attracted and south pole 
is getting repelled. That means this region has the uh, south pole. So that this region would be this region would be acting like a north pole. So when the current is passing through the conductor, below the conductor it is appearing to be like a south pole and above it is appear to be a north pole. Okay. So now, okay. So when there is a deflection, जब ये magnetic needle deflect हो रही है, so that, what does it mean? It means there is a presence of the magnetic field. Whenever magnetic field gets deflected, it means there is a presence of magnetic field. And ये magnetic field आई कहाँ से? So the current in the wire produces the, so the current here, current in the wire it produces the magnetic field. Okay. So now let's change the experiment a little bit. यहाँ पे switches off, so no deflection, no deflection. Correct. When you turn on the switch, you see the north pole is repelled and south pole is attracted. Correct. But now you see the battery here. Battery is reversed. When you reverse the battery, what do you see? You see the deflection reversed. Deflection reversed. So what is the meaning of deflection getting reversed? It means the magnetic field produced by this current got reversed. So whenever you change the direction of current, the magnetic field gets reversed. Okay. So let's understand this. Like how do we get? So by reversing the direction of current, the deflection has reversed. So that means the magnetic field produced by the conductor got reversed. Okay. So now how do we find the direction of the magnetic field? So there is a very simple rule. I'll tell you the, what is the rule. It is called as right hand thumb rule. So everyone, if you have pen, pencil, anything, take it in your hand, in your right hand, and point the thumb upwards. So what does it tell you? The current is going from bottom to up. In this direction, current is flowing. So now these four fingers, which are curling around, so they will tell you the direction of magnetic field. You can point it in any direction. If it is up, these are the curling around. If the current is coming towards you, the field is in this direction. If the current is going down, you see my thumb pointing down. So the fingers now earlier. Fingers were like this. When I put the current, reverse the current. What happens? The direction of the magnetic field has reversed. Okay. So there is the right hand thumb rule. You point the thumb in the direction of current. So the magnetic field lines they are in circular manner around the conductor. You see here, current is going up. Hold the conductor in your hand. Assume that the conductor is in your right hand. So these are the magnetic field lines which are concentric circles around the conductor so this is what called as right hand thumb rule so this is how you identify the direction of the magnetic field so aapko ek cheez batao aapne jab bar magnet dekha tha bar magnet mein there is a north this is south from the north field lines are coming out correct and from the south the field lines are going inside correct so whenever the field lines are going inside, we say that this region is a south pole. If the field lines are coming out, this region is north pole. So look at here, in this direction, field lines are coming out, out of the page. They are coming out of the page, correct? Here, they are going into the page, into the, into the board or into the page, correct? So whenever the field lines are going inside into the page, we say that this region act like a south pole and this region act like a north pole. Correct. So when you have the this conducting wire current carrying conductor, you produce the north and the south pole accordingly. Okay. So now let's understand the in details about the straight conductor. When the current is passing through a straight conductor, how the magnetic field looks like. 
So let's again do the iron filing experiment. This is a very good experiment because you can identify the shape or the pattern of pattern of uh, magnetic field lines. So there is a cardboard, there is a conductor XY, there is a battery. So battery will produce a current. So the current is flowing from X to Y. Current is going in the downward direction. The cardboard is in a perpendicular. Cardboard is perpendicular to the conductor. So sprinkle the iron filings. When you sprinkle the iron filings, they will arrange in a concentric circles. So these are called as concentric circles. What is the meaning of concentric circles? It means the center is at the all the circles have the exactly same center. That is the meaning of concentric circles. So magnetic field is in a concentric circles with a conductor as a center. This conductor XY is appear to be the center of all the circles. Common center. Yes, correct. Correct. So now this is how we get the pattern of the magnetic field lines. But there is a some like these iron filing experiment do not tell you the direction. So how do we get the direction? We use our favorite compass needle. So for example, here there is a conductor. This gray one is a conductor. Current is flowing in the upward direction. There is a direction of current. So now there are two compass needle. One is in front, one is behind. So there is a uh, conductor. Current is going from bottom to up. I am holding it in my right hand. So up, like in front, my fingers are going in this direction. So there is a direction of magnetic field. But behind, you see the fingers coming towards me. So this one is the behind. Behind the conductor, this is the this is the direction of magnetic field. And in front, this is the direction of magnetic field in front correct again the magnetic needle or the compass needle is perpendicular so the magnetic field is not only perpendicular it is concentric circles in front magnetic field is pointed towards right behind it is pointed towards left and again you can get this from the right hand thumb rule you hold the conductor in your right hand so thumb will tell you the direction of current current is going upwards magnetic field in front going towards right behind coming towards left okay when will you teach there is a very good sir right misbah sir he will teach maths he is very good at teaching maths okay so now using the compass needle what are the advantages so there are certain advantages of using compass needle first is it detects the direction of the magnetic field so compass needle because compass needle has this is how the compass needle looks there is a north and south this is a compass needle correct so you can represent it with arrow there is a north and south this is how we will get the direction of the magnetic field correct and we measure the deflection that is the angle so how do we measure the deflection I will teach you that how to measure the deflection for example there is a bar magnet there is a south pole and the north pole is our bar magnet correct so now compass needle is very far so there is a north and south of the compass needle very far so no deflection no deflection i bring the compass needle little closer so now this is the north and south so how much is the deflection we can measure this angle theta so let's suppose theta is 30 degree. So the compass needle is deflected by angle 30. 30 degree is the measure of the deflection. Angle is the measure of deflection. So now if I bring the compass needle even closer. So let's suppose it is pointing in this direction. So this angle theta. Now theta is 60 degree. So if the angle increase. That means the deflection has increased. Correct? If I bring the compass needle even closer, so this is how the compass needle will look like. So this angle is theta is 90 degree. 
So what you see here, when you bring the compass signal closer and closer, the deflection increases. So this is how I told you, right? To measure the deflection in the compass needle or measure the angle. So larger the deflection, what does it tell you? That means this region has stronger, stronger magnetic field. The strength is stronger in this region. Here there is no deflection, that means weaker magnetic field. So when you go away from the bar magnet, the deflection reduces. Lower deflection meaning weaker magnetic field. Okay. Okay, Niyati, I don't know whether they are checking, but if there is someone who is checking, they will share or else later I will post the link. Okay, Niyati, after the class I will post the link. Okay, so now there is our uh, there is our conductor A to B, current is flowing. So, these are the concentric lines. We use the compass needle. So, now we have to change the parameter. What is the parameter? We do the experiment by and notice the deflection or measure the angle by which the compass needle has deflected. So, we change the parameter. First parameter is D. What is this D? It is the distance between the conductor and the compass serial. So, there is a distance from conductor. You can bring the compass serial closer or you can bring it away. So, when you bring it away, you see here, when the compass serial is very far, there is no deflection. When the compass serial is near to the bar magnet, there is a maximum deflection. Maximum deflection would be 90 degree. Yes? Yeah, you check Niyati. This is our telegram channel and the link I missed your chat. Okay, killer. This week I have exam 28. Circle and areas. Oh, that is maths, right? I don't teach maths. So you can ask Mizba sir. He is very good at maths. Or you can comment uh, maybe tomorrow at 3 p.m. He will teach you the maths and you can connect and you can ask him. He, he will be very happy to answer all your questions. This is the first parameter. You change the distance. Then the second one is current. So, what will happen if you increase the current? If you change the current and observe the deflection, measure the deflection. Then the third one is direction of the current. Once the current is going from A to B, you change the battery, you reverse the battery. So, what will happen? Current will start going from B to A. We do this experiment and measure the deflection all the time. So, what do we observe? These are the observations. Deflection is directly proportional to the current. When you increase the current, what will happen? Deflection measured by the compass signal increases. Okay, and deflection is inversely proportional to the distance. So, what does it mean? When you go away from the conductor, the deflection reduces. There is an inverse relationship. So, that means if you lower the distance, deflection will increase. That is the inverse relationship, correct? So, when you bring the compass either closer and closer to the conductor, deflection increases. And what does it tell you? What does deflection means? Deflection means strength of the magnetic field. Deflection is nothing but strength of the magnetic field. So, the strength is directly proportional to the current and inversely proportional to the distance. So, the strength of the magnetic field varies as you increase the current magnetic field strength will increase and as you increase the distance magnetic field strength will reduce. So, this is how we get the uh, magnitude or the strength of the magnetic field. So, you know how to get the direction using the right hand thumb rule and this is how we get the magnitude of the magnetic field. So, now solve this question. If a charge is moving, charge for example, there is a charge Q, let's suppose plus charge, it is moving with some speed V. So, it will produce which of the following and it is multiple correct. So, choose all the correct options. Please repeat, repeat which one? Sunny Yadav, the previous slide. Okay, thank you. Will the great 
so when the charge is moving moving charge means it will produce the electric current this is correct if a charge is moving that means it is something like a current there is a current and if there is a current there would be a magnetic field but before that there is a charge correct there is a charge plus q so whenever you have the charge q there is a electric field so the charge will produce electric field magnetic field and the electric current moving charges they will produce all three of them and there is nothing called as magnetic current so the option d is wrong everything else it will produce okay so again i'll repeat the last slide here i think some of you have questions so what experiment we did there is a conductor i'll draw it here there is a conductor i conductor and current carrying is i so when you in and this is a let's suppose magnetic needle so this will be the deflection angle theta correct there is a distance d distance d from the conductor when you increase the distance you bring the compass needle further away if the compass needle is very uh, very far from this conductor what will happen the deflection will reduce if you increase the distance deflection will reduce that is the meaning of inverse proportionality and if i increase the current the current which is passing through the conductor if i increase it what will happen the deflection will increase and what does it tell you the deflection in the compass needle signifies the strength of the magnetic field so magnetic field strength is directly proportional to the current and inversely proportional to the distance so just this deflection instead of that i'll use the strength of the magnetic field understood now sunny so, other okay the last question i guess there is a last question there is no slide number okay so all this the pattern of the magnetic field produced by straight conductor is what is the pattern of the straight conductor carrying current बोर्ड में नहीं आएगा बोर्ड में नहीं आएगा डोंट वरी बोर्ड में इजी आएंगे इससे बहुत इजी क्वेश्चंस आएंगे ओके इन द डायरेक्शन अपोजिट टू द करंट इन द डायरेक्शन पैरेलल टू द वायर इन द डायरेक्शन परपेंडिकुलर टू द करंट एंड नन ऑफ द अब सो विच वन इज करेक्ट pattern of the magnetic field produced by straight current carrying conductor is so when you have the current carrying conductor the pattern we know these are the concentric circles yes so in the direction opposite to the current that is wrong we know the cardboard experiment if you place a cardboard then these are the concentric circles yes this is what we learned So now, in the direction parallel to the wire, this one is also wrong. This is not in parallel. These are in the perpendicular to the current. So, option C is correct. Voice is low, anyways. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. There is a Telegram link. If you are not able to connect through this link, we'll share in the comment section. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much.